Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is like Kate here. In today's video, I'm going to be making a video on Amalgamations Island, which will surprise some of you who've been watching my channel for a long time. As you guys know, I played Amalgamations Island a ton on this uh, channel a long time ago, and it got its update Wave 3 specifically just a few hours ago, I would say. Um, and it's actually the last update I think they're making for Amalgamations Island, other than like bug fixes of course and stuff like that. But it is the last major update I'm pretty sure they'll be putting out for Amalgamations Amalgamations Island as this is kind of the end of Amalgamations Island. In today's video I thought it would be good to just make one last video on Amalgamations Island uh, just because I felt like it would be something fun to kind of review a game that I've made videos on for a very long time. In today's video I'll be looking at some stuff and kind of showcasing and talking about it kind of like a normal update video would go. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Thank you guys for 12,000. If you guys are not subscribed yet and you are new, make sure to subscribe. Uh, and also do like the video. Let's see if we can get this to maybe 300 likes. And with that said, let's get right into it. So if you guys don't know, I am playing as the Astralis, which is aka the Space Glider. I still call it that even though they changed the name. I'm sure due to copyrights or issues with past drama that they had to change the name of it, but it is was called Space Glider. It's called the Astralis now. It has a new remodel. It looks fantastic. I love the new details on it. I'm kind of going to go briefly over some stuff because it's a lot to put in one video to be honest. Um, but the animations fit very well. I love how they have so much more detail to this as well. And it kind of looks like it's a um, kind of like a the back like a bone. I can't remember what they're called honestly because I'm just that dumb <laughs> but this guy is the new model I love it the animations fit it well it can also walk on the floor if I can get there yep see but it, I think it can swim as well no no I don't think it can swim yeah no it can't swim and there's like things bouncing up in there so uh I should get out of here I guess swim all the way over here so the next one, which is I think my personal favorite out of all the remodels, is the Crota Morph, which is this guy right here. It has a brand new remodel and I'm pretty sure it can fly, because I've seen them flying. I don't know how, but they are. I literally saw one flying earlier. I gotta figure that out, but um, maybe it's because, I don't know, because it's not letting me fly. I literally saw one using the, these little thingies here to fly. Maybe I was seeing things, I don't know, but I saw it flying, so... That would be cool if I could actually fly. I doubt that I can because it doesn't seem like I can. Um, sadly, maybe that's like a different type or something with the developers that I can actually fly. Um, but this thing looks really cool. I love the little extra- oh, is that an egg? I just pooped an egg. Okay. But look at this guy. Just looks absolutely amazing. It also looks a lot more creepy and I like that. I really do like it. It's like one of my favorites. Like look at that. That looks so cool. Also, they did add a search bar, so if you wanted to, you can always just go here and then type in, well, I typed that wrong, but um, you can always type in what you want and then it'll pop up, which I actually like a lot. I did mention that before, I wanted them to kind of do that and I'm so glad they added that. I'm like really happy so that I can find things because this is a very long list to go through and I don't feel like looking at things to go through and just like scrolling. So, it is nice. We're going to look at the Glecky now which is the other remodel that came. I'm kind of just like briefly going over them. Of course, you know, it's nighttime because why not be nighttime? Um, which he kind of looks really cute. Kind of reminds me of kind of a beaver. Um, he also does have his ability if you hit X. Now I forgot about this. It took me 20 minutes to find out how to have the ability because I forgot about it, of course. Um, and he kind of just chops off his little tail. Now there is a good detail that they actually put so the run is pretty slow but when he chops off his tail the animation goes faster as same with the speed which i think is really cool attention to little details i really do like that and i'm glad oh look there's another one look at him so cute tiny also when i grow there's a different idol so he's sitting down so i can't really show it but when i grow oh i don't know why actually no that's not a different idol I don't know what happened there. Maybe I was in combat. Maybe this combat animations. That would be very cool because I accidentally hit him, I think. Um, and when I did, he kind of, I kind of went into that uh, thing at the beginning, the animation. That would be really cool. But look at him. He's the thing. He runs away too. And then chop off the tail. Extremely fast. It's magic. Whoops. See, look. He has a different animation. 
Next one is the Madrix, which is one of the original. It was actually, I think, one of the rivals for the Space Glider at the time, like in the past. Um, it did get remodeled as well, as well as animations, of course. It looks so much better. Honestly, I love this a lot better than the old one. It kind of gives the Madrix more of a life, like with the model, per se. I feel like it just looks so much better. And of course, I'm dying from the sun. Wouldn't it be me? Okay, let me get in the water because I'm pretty sure I'm semi-aquatic. Okay. I am semi-aquatic. Look at that. How am I still hot? I'm literally in water. Do I have to go down? Like, through shadows? Oh, okay, I died. Nice. I forgot that those temperatures. Which is kind of sucky, but at the same time, I understand it makes more realistic gameplay. Next up is the original classic, which is the sea light, which I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, look at that. That's the sea light, and this is the now sea light. Um, I haven't really looked at it very much, but we're gonna see in a second what it looks like. Oh, please don't spawn through the map like that. Honestly, I don't know about this one. Not gonna lie. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it kind of matches the sea light more, but at the same time, I feel like there's something missing. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's not bad. The model's pretty good. It's just, I feel like it's missing something. I don't exactly know why. Next up is the U-Toy, which is kind of different than it used to be. Um, I can also see it kind of for like a glimpse when I put the night vision on. It's always dark, so I can't necessarily find a server that's daytime sometimes because it's like so fast in daytime. But it's changed a lot due to the looks. I mean, it has a lot of change to it. I want to show the animations. I think it looks really good though. I love the model. It kind of looks a little weird in the face, but I do love the model. It looks absolutely amazing. So do the animations. I love the animations on it. Um... It kind of wasn't my favorite ever, so it's not like a really good remodel. I'm not saying like the, mo the model's bad, I just feel like the design-wise, I never really was a fan of it, no matter how it looked. But I definitely do like this one more because I feel like it gives more of a creature look than it does kind of a dinosaur look, because the old one kind of looked more like a dinosaur than anything else. Next up is the Nawin, which is one of the originals as well. Most of them that are original got a remodel, honestly, that's just all I'm going to say about it. Also, the ocean does look like it got a kind of redesign. Um, now, I haven't played this game in such a long time, so I'm not exactly sure um, if it has been redesigned in this update or in the past, but it does look really good. Definitely looks a lot more alive than um, some other games I'm not going to mention, but I do love the model for this guy. It looks absolutely amazing. It just, it looks so good. I love it. It's so much better. So as you can see in this update log, we also have the reanimations, which I'm not going to show because they're reanimations. I wanted to show more of the remodels. So these are all the ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that have reanimations. If you want to go check those out, you can. Um, the game's called Macomations Island, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it if you don't know how to find it. Uh, just search it up. And we also have removals of the Bone Break. Um, there is also one that's no longer available. I guess it's a limited, or it's not playable at all. Our ha Harvest variants are no longer available. King Snake is no longer available. The bot for this creature has no longer been available. And the Nawin's Horn Shot has been removed, so I don't think it has an, a, another ability. Um, and that's kind of everything in that. Now, there is a new creature, which they have said that is special, which is this guy right here. It actually has the, um, what's it called? The Diet of Gold. I don't know why, but they, when you purchase it, this is what it says. Warning. It says that it's extremely specialized, meaning you almost never get to play it properly. But I can't purchase it. I like how it's just slowly going back down. Um, can I please... See, I can't... I don't know how I'm supposed to buy it. Okay, it's actually letting me buy it now. Watch it be like, all oh, my amber. Is it buying it? It's like kind of slowly buying it. Purchase with amber. I think I have enough. Right? Wait, do I have enough? No, I don't think I have enough. I thought it said 10,000. That's 100,000. Sorry. I cannot read, even if I wanted to, but this is a new creature. Uh, it has the Diet of Gold. It's very impossible, apparently, to survive as. Um, once I get enough, if I even try, I will try getting this guy. 
I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive in the game so far, so that is interesting. Now, Uga's also had a ton of special love. Oh, look! It's a hoopy! Oh, look at him. Looks like an adult. But this guy also got some special love uh, with this update as well. I don't know where he's going, but we're gonna... He's so cute, look at him. Oh, I didn't know I was an adult. Oh, is that his nest? Oh, it's a burrow. I forgot that was a burrow. I forgot they could actually burrow. Uh, it has tribes, which I'm pretty sure already were a thing, but I think they're just renamed. They also have inventory, so I'm gonna find the inventory. Here, it is. Oh, that's crafting menu. This does nothing. That's a very good description right here. This does nothing. That's like really good. Oh, what's that? Okay, apparently I can talk. Uh, I'm gonna see how I'm supposed to open inventory because apparently it has inventory. I'm gonna actually read over what it has. So Ugas now have inventories, which makes it easier for them to have um, things dropped and stuff like that. Well, drop items basically. They also have armor that is now available, crafted with chitin or fluff. Fishing and farming has been added to the Uger. Um, there's also some other stuff. Uga's buildings are now more advanced and settings. Grid snapping primarily. Um, Uga's have advanced further, allowing them to create more advanced stuff. Oh, so if you hit uh, B, it will show the snapping scale and the Y axis. I don't want to do that. Um, for like, I guess building, if you are building. I'm just kind of testing all the buttons to kind of see. Oh, this is attack. Uh, we already know the attack, so we're not necessarily worried about that. Oh yes, T-posing. I love T-posing. Oh, there we go. Inventory. So if you hit U, actually no, if you hit I, it will have helmet, secondary, clothing, and primary. So these are where you'd kind of put uh, your armor, I would say. Um, and we have to craft that with, I guess, um, chitin and fluff, which I don't know how to get chitin. Um, not exactly. I might make another video on that as I'm not really focused much on that. I wanted to kind of just showcase a little bit um, on the stuff like that. So it's kind of laggy with the whole screen thingy with like the turning around the character, which is fine. I understand that because it's, I mean, the update just came out. So there's going to be issues. Oh, I, I don't know if that's necessarily Roblox or what. Um, but we also have a new skin, which is a Bloodleaf Jamos, um, which is kind of similar to the default. I really do like that. What's Marvin? I don't know what Marvin is. The blood only diet for the blood leaf. Maybe that's a new diet. But anyway, I am the JMOS for a reason. I wanted to show you guys a new ability. You can knock over trees. Well, at least it lets me knock over trees. I wonder if I can knock over only certain ones. It lets big creatures do it, so I don't know why JMOS wouldn't be able to knock over trees. Actually, let me be the, um, Ash, uh, Ash Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's different types of trees that I can actually knock over. So, I'm pretty sure any big creatures can necessarily knock these over, but as you can see, I can knock over these sand, uh, trees, which I'm not sure what they're called, but we're gonna call them sand trees since they're kind of on the beach. Um, so I'm pretty sure not every single tree cannot be knocked over. As you probably saw with the Jamos, I couldn't really knock over those trees, but these ones, I'm doing it no problem. I really do like this uh, new mechanic that I can knock over trees. I think it's just fun for no reason whatsoever too. Uh, I don't know if Ugras can harvest these trees. I'm not exactly sure. They do disappear after a few seconds, uh, which does kind of suck, but at the same time, pretty okay. I really do like that though. I just want to show that as well because I thought that was pretty unique. Anyway guys, this is it for today's video. This is all I have to really talk about. There's plenty more that actually came into the update other than what I talked about, um, which I haven't mentioned. But I do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I might make a second one talking more about the uh, little things or kind of doing more of a gameplay than kind of showcasing. It is definitely a great update and it's a great way to kind of end things for Amalgamations Island if this is the last update for Amalgamations Island. Definitely put in a lot of work and I'm super proud of all the developers because it is a ton of things that they actually added and I think it's the most I've ever seen a game actually update, um, which is interesting. It did take them a quite a while, but it is definitely worth the wait. Um, I really am kind of sad that the, it's coming to an end, but I mean, Magimations Island's been around for a, quite a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!